then we added materials and resources how did we do it we clicked on add and then we had two options the first was google drive through which you could add some material from your drive the second was link in which what we did was we selected a link which was available online and then we would copy that uh, link over here now the third option is adding a file now this you can directly add from your own device so what you do is you click on select files from your device so let's say i have created some material so i can add another ppt so this is the second in line and if of course if you want to add more files you can click over here add more files and add them and then you click on upload so first this is going to upload your file to the google drive and after that it is going to show you the link here so this is how you can add a file from your device to your google classroom now the last one is youtube now this particular option gives you two options again first is a video search option the second is url now this is going to help you to add a video from the youtube into your classroom now in the first option you know you can just write a topic here just going to search for it on youtube and then you can select any one that you like so let's say you can pick up any one so let's say i select this one and i say add now this is going to add this particular video into the classroom now let's say i already have selected a particular video from youtube in that case what i just have to do is paste the youtube url here so let me do a general search i go to youtube and then i say regularization so let's say we already added this one let's say i want to add this what very powerful place that you can use right so what you simply do is you copy the url from here and paste it here okay and then you say add so now you can see that your video has been added here so this is the basic uh, strategy of adding videos from youtube so i'll repeat the first step was adding some material from google drive the second was adding a link over the internet third was adding some files from your own system fourth was adding some videos from youtube so these are the various options that are available. The next step is over here. Now here it says to which students you would like to post these materials to. So if you have multiple classes, you would have got multiple options here. Now here you can select a list of students. As of now, this is all students, but if you have uh, once you have students added into your course it will show you the names of those students and then you can selectively send this material to some students last one is topic in which you select the topic to which this material will be assigned so here we have created this topic called as regularization this material belongs to it there is also an option to create a topic here and no topic in which it will go to no, none of the topics create topic will help you create a new topic parallelly okay so i select regularization here so this material now goes to regularization after this what you just have to do is you have to post this particular material so we click on post So now this material will be posted onto your Google Classroom. That's it. In the next video, we'll continue adding more material.